You said we should not be hearers alone, not the doers. Otherwise, we'll be deceiving ourselves. But we should be hearers and the doers of your word. This evening, oh God, we want to put to practice those things you have ministered to us. Lord, we believe that you will speak to us. That this evening, you will speak to us individually. We will have experience of your presence. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Uh, this evening, we are not going to do much sharing, but we are going to do much practical by praying. Uh, this burden came a few days before the meeting that we have to have a time to pray and seek the Holy Spirit as never before. Because of the perilous time. You know, like an unbeliever, for example, if they know there is a danger ahead, they will consult a higher power. They will be close to that higher power. Now, there's something I said somewhere. I said it takes power to live on earth. I repeat it again. It takes what? Power to live on earth. Whether you agree or not, a day will come, it will be so clear to you that it takes power to live on earth. If you don't have power, you become like a football. You, they will play you. Alright? They will be using you to play football. The devil can use you to play anything. Because he knows that you are just a meat. And so we Christians are privileged to have a power. That is why Jesus said that I will not leave you comfortless. That when I go, I will send the comforters. But I'm going to read just a few scriptures and then we'll have a time of prayer. Now I want to stir up your mind this night to stir up yourself that you are going to pray until you pray. Because this time you need power. Because of the great things that are happening and great things that will yet happen. Uh, Brother Collins yesterday morning stirred my spirit up. And it was laying emphasis. If you listen very well, that's what now prompted me to say, well, I want to come up. He laid emphasis on the Holy Spirit. Union with the Holy Ghost. Union with the Holy Spirit in time of this perilous time. In this time of great evil, wickedness, it takes the Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us. Hallelujah. Now let me just read a few scriptures. The first scriptures we are going to read is in the book of Acts. It's a simple scripture, Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1. From verse 6. I 
I read. When they therefore were come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, without at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel. So it was, I would say, a perilous time for Israelites at that time. Because they were in slavery. They were in bondage. And so they were looking for a day of freedom. A day of total liberty. And so the, what the disciples were concerned is about total liberation. They need their own kingdom. They don't want to be under slavery any longer. So in verse 7, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know the time or the season which the Father has put in his own power. It's not for you to know the time and season. Many Christians are looking at times and season. They are telling you the trumpet will soon blow and will fly away to escape the perilous time. But that is not true. Every one of us will face perilous time. Jesus told them, look, that time is in the hand of God. But there is something that is important. Verse 8. But, but ye shall receive what? Power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. So what is important? Jesus draw their attention and say the time you live in is not a time to seek when the kingdom will be restored. But it's a time to seek for power to be able to live. Hallelujah. It's a time to receive power to be able to live. And many of us, many Christians are ignorant of this. Every one of us, individual, not just a pastor, not just the leaders of the church. All of us need power to live. Especially at this time, that is a time of darkness, a time of wickedness. This morning, our brother Richard said, your prayer has cast what? Down demons. <laughs> Powerful ones. And uh, we are battling with those demons right now. All right? Whether you call it immorality, uh, character failure, they are activity of demonic powers. And so you need power to free yourself from them. Whether you are living in sin, you need power to lose you from that sin. Jesus said, but ye shall receive what? Power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And he went on and said, and ye shall be what? Witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Now, in the book of Luke chapter... Luke 24, verse 49. Hallelujah. Verse 49. It says, And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, until ye be what? And thou with power from where? From on high. Jesus knew that the world you are facing is not just ordinary. We Christians see the world as ordinary because you wake up, you sleep, and wake up, 
and drive your car to the working place and come back. I want Joseph to say, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, thank God, thank God, you go and lie down. The atmosphere is charged. It's charged of demonic activity. In those days, we used to say villagers. In the village, you have more demons. I discovered that you have more demons in the town. Not even in the village. Because the demons we have nowadays, they put on tie and coat. They are no longer painting one eye. You understand? They are no longer painting one eye. Hallelujah. The demons in the town are more dangerous nowadays. Because they appear to you as a normal human being. Eh? Let's have a phone. You don't know it's a demon that is talking. But the man put on tie. All that he wants from you is to defy you, is to sell you to demonic spirits. And then you become their meat. What of in your office? You think your office is free. Except that office is owned by only you. And no other person is entering there. If there is somebody that is coming there, it means that atmosphere is charged. You need power to live in your office. Or you are a businessman. And you think everything is okay. Now let me tell you. I used to pity people who grow to MD level, from manager level. You know why? Many people are chanting them every day. The cleaner want to leave house. He will make some enchantment. I say, my God will not do me anything. If I do anything today, he will not see me. He will mention your name and enchant you. The clerk will do the same thing. Are you understanding what I'm saying? It's not a joking matter. And so, when the old guy is misbehaving, many people will say, oh, guys is misbehaving. But many people have enchanted this man. Hallelujah. And so, we Christians need what? Power. He said, behold, I give unto you power. So, it takes power to live on earth. It takes power to live on earth. I, I was telling somebody, I said, the devil knows how to trick each and every one of us. If he knows that if he gives you money, you will fall, he's going to give you money. If he knows that if he gives you money, he will not be able to get you. He will press you to be poor so that he can get you. So he used every instrument. So don't think that you are in a position and then you are comfortable. Hallelujah. So, the atmosphere is charged. Especially nowadays. We had yesterday how somebody will open a woman's belly and take the child out and squeeze it. Squeeze the child. Some will drink the blood of the child. You think that is an ordinary man? And you want to go and meet such a man to discuss with him? Eh? <laughs> you want to go and meet such a man and discuss with him? Maybe about contract, or maybe or so anything. So you are, you are meeting a demon. You are not meeting a human being. Hallelujah. And so you will need power to challenge that man. To speak to him. Hallelujah. So you will need the power of the Holy Ghost. You know what? We have the supreme power. And the sacrifice has been made for us. We don't need to make sacrifice. But we are not making use of it. The unbeliever makes a lot of sacrifice. They have to get the animal to kill or the human being to kill. They have to do all manner of things and then somehow to sleep in the grave and, and the rest of the whole thing. And they do it perfectly. But we, the only thing God demands from us, number one, sincerity of heart, and commitment. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God. And so, pray to what I'm saying is this. My body is this. That we need the power of the Holy Ghost as never before. At this time, 
We need to walk in the spirit. We need to walk in the spirit. We need to be led by the power of the Holy Ghost. Look at Elijah in the Old Testament. Elisha. They hold a meeting. And the king said, Who is exposing me to my enemy? Every time we plan to deal with Israel, they will always know who is among you here that is betraying me. And one of the men stood up and said, Look, men and brethren, and my king, there's nobody here. They have one man in Israel. What you are doing with your wife in the bed, he knows it. Hallelujah. Brethren, sometimes I, when all these things that are happening in the nation, sometimes I get challenged. I, sometimes I get weak. How can it be that the enemy is coming to launch an attack and a whole congregation do not even know at all? A whole assembly will not know there is an attack that the enemy wants to launch at them that day. Elijah knows what the king is doing in the bed. And we have a better covenant than Elijah. Hallelujah. He knows what he's doing. Why don't we know? Why don't we know? There is an attack. There is a war coming. Somebody should be able to stand up and say, Thus say the Lord. Today we will not gather because the enemy is coming. Let us stay at home. You understand what I'm saying? That is what we need at this perilous time. People are planning. Before they finish planning, you have received the information and know exactly what to do to avert it. And when that begins to happen, the enemy will begin to get weak. I have had time of prayer. I say, God, we don't have money for ammunitions. And even if we have, you didn't ask us to use it. But you just give us one ammunition, the Holy Ghost. That is the only arm we are giving. And we are not making use of it. Somebody that have AK-47 is making use of it. But those of who have the superpower eh, are not making use of it. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Brethren, I believe time has come. Somebody will want to do you something. While he's here thinking about it, the Holy Spirit will tell you, Those, that person is doing this, doing this. And so this is what you are going to do. Hallelujah to Jesus. About somebody try to stab somebody and the hand dried up. You have not said anything. He raised up his hand to bring it down, become a problem. You think it will not happen? It happens. If charm can do it, charm, I mean charm, people tie for waste, can do it. What about the Holy Spirit? A sister came to me one day and said, They post, there's they just posted her as an assistant. So she went to that office and they told her that the person in that office is so demonized. He's an occultic man. And no person has been able to approach him. Any person they sent to assist him, either the person will die or will run away. And the sister said, Brother Monday, I want you to pray, pray for me. I don't know if I will survive it. I want you to pray for me. This man is highly demonized. So I look at her. I say, sister, I say, this brother Monday is not going to pray for you. He said, uh -uh. please, what, what are you talking? I said, I, this brother Monday will not pray for you. He said, why? I said, that man, that man, you said the word? Say it's an occultic man. He said, yes. I said, what did the man possess with? He said, Satan. I said, fine. Are you possessed with the Holy Ghost? I, I make it very rough. I didn't say whether you are baptized. I said, what are you possessed with? He said, Holy Ghost. I said, now, Holy Ghost and Satan, who is stronger? 
she looked at me. I said, okay. If you are afraid, I'm not going to pray for you. If anything happens to you, hold me responsible. On Monday, go to that man, go and shake him. Say you are the new person they post to this office. He said, Brother you don't know that. I said, I know him. Don't worry. I know, I know him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you know what? That very Monday, she went to the office and went to the master, look at him at first and say, Good morning, sir. I am the new assistant um, headmistress that I sent to this place. The man looked at her and said, Who are you? Because I told her, if you say, Who are you? Say, I'm a daughter of God. Say, Who are you? Say, I'm a daughter of God. Say, No, 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 no. Sister said, I said, I am a daughter of God. Mrs. So, so, so. The man looked at her and said, Okay, I will see you later. That is the last day. The man packed his load, resigned, and left the office. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You see, sometimes we give room for them to threaten us. You are intimidated. It's time to live by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It is time to seek the Holy Ghost. It's time to seek the power of the Holy Ghost. It's time to seek the gift of the Holy Ghost. Because we cannot do without the Holy Spirit. We are living in the midst of terrible power of darkness. The Bible said the promise. Why did God promise it? God knows that you are in the midst of trouble. You are in the midst of your enemy. And he said you can't just do it. And he equipped you with the power of the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to Jesus. You know what? We went to a place to minister. And we were just teaching. I, I think I was the one that taught that night. Two boys stood up. And said it's a lie. What do I say it's a lie? It, it, it doesn't work. Then Brother Jones stood up and said wait, wait. Don't worry. When we finish teaching, we will demonstrate what we are saying. Hallelujah to Jesus. So immediately we finish. I finished teaching. Brother Jones stood up and said, let's pray. Say, where are those two boys? Before he said it, the Holy Ghost carried one through the window. Not that they jump out by themselves. From the midst of the congregation, Holy Ghost fold him, throw him. The second one. But thank God now they are pastors. Hallelujah. They came and gave testimony and said, God, he said, what you are saying is true. Hallelujah. What am I saying? Your environment is charged. You need what? The power of the Holy Ghost to live among them. Hallelujah. This afternoon, my wife was just telling me, you know, when we came back from mission, we have not had time to talk. She was telling me that, you know, there is this tree in, my, in our compound, old, one old tree, dried. And one day I just shake it. I said, this thing can fall and break somebody's vehicle. Let me pull it down. I don't have the lead. I should just pull the tree down. I pull it down, break the firewood, pack it to somewhere. So I traveled. And when I traveled, there's a woman living in that company. <laughs> Not knowing that that is her coven. <laughs> she fell sick from that day. She, she has not survived it. And so she came one day. I told my wife. This compound is so clean. You people have sent me out of this compound. My wife said, when did we, we didn't send you out of this place. I said, no, because all this place is clean. My wife said, I don't understand. She now started giving the story of the tree. But she didn't put herself that she is the one that are gathering the people there. <laughs> Hallelujah. She is still sick till now. I said, well, if you repent and give her life to Christ, she'll be saved. If not, she will die. It's not me who killed her. I, I pulled down a tree. A big dry tree. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's time to live by the power of his resurrection. He said, if the power that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, the same power will quicken your mortal body. Hallelujah to Jesus. 
So this night you are going to pray until you pray. Until you pray. Hallelujah. So God. See. We are not to be defeated in any battle. No. We don't have record of defeat. Hallelujah. We don't have record of defeat. Jesus has never been defeated in battle. And we cannot be defeated. I always tell the devil, if you have defeated my brother, my senior brother, my master, my Lord Jesus, then be ready to defeat me. But if you have not, you are just wasting time. Because I can never be defeated. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory to God. So, let me read another scripture and then we'll, I tell you we're going to have a time of prayer. <laughs> we're going to have a time of... My body is... We need to pray. Because of the things that were taught by Bracola, I was really touched. I was moved. That we need the Holy Spirit as never before. In fact, we have to make him a friend. Hallelujah. We have to make him a friend. If we are to live comfortably here on earth at such a time, this perilous time, blessed be the name of our God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, Psalm 46. Psalm 46. Psalm 46. I, I say, I, I'm. I did really not come out to teach, but I come out so that we can pray. <laughs> so that we can really pray tonight. If you are not be baptized with the Holy Ghost, don't worry yourself. By the time you pray, the Holy Ghost will come upon you. Hallelujah. Psalm 46, I read from verse 1. God is a refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not what? Fear. Though the earth what? Be removed. Hallelujah. And though the mountain be what? Carried into the midst of the sea. Though the water thereof roar and be troubled. Though the mountain shake with the swelling thereof. Let us read verse 4 together. There is what? A river. The streams whereof shall make glad the city of God. The holy place of tabernacle of the most high. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right word? Early. Though there is a perilous time. Though there are hardship. Troubles. Things are happening. It says what? There is a river. There is a river that gladdens the city of God. In the midst of trouble, in the midst of trials, in the midst of happenings, there is what? A river. The streams gladdens the city of God. Brethren, especially with the end timer or the tabernacle or whatever we call ourselves, Brethren, we need the Holy Spirit. I have read and I have looked at our message and I have listened to our message. I discovered that everything zero to Holy Spirit. Where people believe we to be led by the Holy Spirit. Have you talked in the fellowship? They said, are you led by the Holy Spirit? <laughs> eh? <laughs> so it means especially we have to live in the Holy Spirit. So that when you say something, you know you are saying it from where? From the realm of the Holy Spirit. We are people who believe being led by the Holy Spirit. And I discovered that we that believe that I discovered that many of us cannot even pray. Many of us live in the borrowed tongues. Hmm? When I mean borrowed tongues, you hear somebody speaking tongues, you copy him. And say, Me too is speaking in tongues. It's not the issue of tongues. Holy Ghost is beyond tongues. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is beyond tongues. We are talking about being led by the Spirit. We are talking about the gift of the Spirit. The graces of the Holy Spirit. Discernment. Wisdom. Knowledge. Understanding. 
power and anointing. We are talking about the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah to Jesus. You speak and people respond with fear. No, I see people, they put something in their mouth. And when they say something, you will not be able to say no. You just say yes, yes, yes. Jam. Many of these people in the office, big office, use it. Eh? When they talk as Oga, the other people will respond. I say yes, yes, yes. Whether Oga make mistake or not, we say yes, yes, yes. You know what? We have the Holy Ghost. So that when you speak, people will respond. They will believe your word. Hallelujah to Jesus. Blessed be the name of our God. So what am I saying? It's time to live in the power of the Holy Ghost. It's time to live in the Holy Spirit. If we will survive this time, a people must dedicate themselves Live in the realm of the spirit. Travel in prayer until the power of the Holy Ghost touch their life. I mean personal experience. I'm not talking about somebody laying hand on you. I mean personal experience. Glory be to the Lamb of God. You know, we were in Israel a few days ago and Brother, Brother Richard told us to baptize those guys. Even before we left home, we received somebody is going to jump into the river and turn to a fish and swim away. Eh? We have already received it. We know it. And you know where we are baptized? Not just a river, Atlantic Ocean. That's where we went to baptize them. <laughs> and the river is so salty. <laughs> if it touch your tongue, it will be like they pour a whole salt into your mouth. And so, they were coming out of, I think about nine of them. Only two were free. And we just pray over the water and sanctify the water. Anyone that steps into the water will catch fire. Starts, jump, ah, fire, 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 fire. We say, leave, leave her. The demon will jump out. And this very one... <laughs> The one that was ready to jump into the river. <laughs> she came very quietly. She didn't even make a sign. No sign at all. <laughs> Don't put her in the river. After lifting her. Oh, yeah! After. <laughs> she just, you know how fish jump. She just hold her by the, <laughs> by the waist. And said, come out of her. And the demon jump, I will draw her out. He said, no, I must go. I must go. I must go today. I must go. I will say, you are not going anywhere. You, you will go, but you will leave this body. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And meanwhile, before we even go, somebody else, a sister, received that somebody is going to lost in the river. She left all that she's doing. She went into the room and started praying. So when the husband came and told her, he said, yes, the Lord told me. <laughs> I was afraid. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Even baptism does cast out devils. You understand? Let me tell you something. You see, many people commonize these rituals. I call it rituals. What do you call it? Baptism or breaking of bread or washing of feet. We call it what? Rituals. I'll see where a feet washing I mean feet washing. Cast out devils. The girl placed her leg on the water. Why the elder tried to wash the leg? The demon showed up. And the demon was cast out. I mean the one that prayer couldn't cast out. Washing of feet. Cast out the demon. I've seen somebody taking just a piece of bread. People call it pieces of bread. Eh? She had been sick. For a long time. And she had been ministered to several times. Immediately she took that bread. From that moment. The sickness disappeared till today. No, Many of us will call it ritual. That we are in the spirit. That those are rituals. Ha, 
Hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus. Anything you do in the name of Jesus, there is power in it. Especially when it is scriptural. Hallelujah. So, brethren, we need power to live in this our days. Let us not be careless. We need power as never before. I told God, I said, God, I need power as never before. Because the days are getting darker and darker. And the only thing that can survive me is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our God. If you have no people who really depend on charm, you will know that you need to get close to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah to Jesus. People that cannot do without making enchantment. Without making sacrifice. And you are working with them. You are selling with them the same market. You are doing anything you do, you do. Are you out of the world? You are still in the world. Oh, okay, your business is only for the brethren. You are doing business with the brethren alone. Eh? <laughs> if you are not doing business with brethren alone, then you need power. Amen? You need the power of the Holy Spirit. You say, I'm a student. I'm not yet a man. Uh, that is why you need the power of God, because you are a student. Because right there in the school, some of your maids enter into court. They travel to Indians and all manner of places. They go to the bush, kill human beings, sacrifice. What are they doing? They are looking for what? Power. And you are there saying, uh, there, was no, there is no fellowship in my school. And that is why I can't go to fellowship. You sleep 24 hours for a whole time. No, you didn't go to any fellowship. You say, uh, all this fellowship in this school, they are not my fellowship. So I can't go to any fellowship. Who tell you Jesus is not in those churches, in those fellowships? And so use it as an occasion to relax yourself. You are dwelling in the midst of lions, tigers, vipers. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This morning we are told that occultism is not only for university now. It has come down to primary school. And so even our children need laying on of hand. They are going to school you lay hand on them. And say the power of the Holy Spirit come upon you. And the one that shall touch you with a wrong hand shall cut fire. It's as simple as that. Let anyone touch the child. One, when we were in church of God mission, they post one pastor to us. And you know what? This pastor is highly possessed. <laughs> Highly what? Possessed. It's not actually a pastor. It's a satanic messenger. Destroy churches. <laughs> After we succeed sending him away. You know what? He went to an open school in Port Harcourt. Private school. What, are we, what were their mission? They were initiating children into the kingdom of darkness. And he, said, he owned the private school. Every child that is admitted into that school. It's initiated. And you say you don't need the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you need the power of the Holy Ghost. Your children need it to save. To be saved from this satanic malice. Hallelujah to Jesus. So this evening brethren. We are going to take time to pray. I say I am not going to be teaching. But we are going to pray. I, I felt a body. As a body. As a body of people believing the same thing, we need an anointing. We need that corporate anointing. So that if we gather like this, no forces of darkness can be able to gather with us. You enter here, you catch fire, you run out by yourself and say, I'm possessed, I need help. That's the kind of gathering we need to be gathering. Hallelujah. We need that. And as a person, no demon come to your house and get and feel comfortable. Come and visit you. Say, come, come to your house. A possessed person and sit down and feel comfortable. It shouldn't be, brethren. Amen? 
Hallelujah. I, I remember somebody was coming to, to Brad Johnson to pray for him. And he was not in the house. And the sister just run and come to the parlor and sit down. After some hour, he said, the sickness don't go. She has not been prayed for. She didn't meet the person at home. She just come and sit down on the chair. After resting for a few minutes, till today, I said the sickness word disappeared. You understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. So we need this grace. We need this anointing. We need this power, brethren. The time has come. The time has come. I read a place in the scripture. I think in 1 Corinthians. Paul said, my speech and my preaching. So my speech is different from my preaching. So when I am preaching, that is different. But when I am speaking, even talking, relationship, it's not by the word of men. It's accomplished what? With the spirit and what? With power. So I don't just talk anyhow I talk. My talk is carried. Power follow my talk. That is exactly what Paul was saying. I don't say anything anyhow. I am led to say it. And the word I say come with what? Power. Blessed be the name of our God. So this evening we are going to take time to pray. As I have said, I am not intending to preach or to teach for a long time. But I am saying that we are going to pray. You are going to separate yourself. Take time to pray. Don't listen to the next neighbor. I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to pray for myself. Because these days, I need the power of God to live. I need what? The power of God to live. Hallelujah. You need the power of God to live. Children, you need the power of God to live. You see, it is in this body I see that when people are talking, some people will be Making noise. Instead of them to listen. Instead of them to follow. Instead of them to. Take that word into their heart. Some of them will be saying. Ah, what time? What time? The time is already. Oh no no. Let, let's go now. And you say you are in the spirit. I wonder what kind of spirit. You are operating on. But I usually say. When somebody says in the spirit. I don't argue. Because we have so many spirits. Some are in the Holy Spirit. Some are in the evil spirit. So I don't know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh. How many of you need the power of God tonight? And then you are going to pray. That is the only sacrifice. You are going to tell God... <laughs> I will not leave here this night. I will be rebaptized with the Holy Ghost. Have you read the place in Acts? He said, after they pray, the ground was what? Shaking. And they were again full of the Holy Ghost. Were they not filled with the Holy Ghost before? Yes. But this time, there is what? A refilling. So we are going to pray tonight. Let us stand on our feet as we are going to pray. But you can take your position. But first of all, let's stand on our feet. Oh, Holy Spirit, I need you. Lord Jesus, the days are evil. Don't look at somebody. 
If you like, lie down. If you like, stand up. If you like, sit down. But be in the spirit and be praying. It's time to weep before the Lord. It's time to weep before the Lord. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Lord, I need you. It is time. Lord, the days are evil. The days are terrible. The days are evil. Heavenly Father. Lord, remember you said in your word, oh God. Lord, according to your promise, Lord, that you will not leave me comfortless. Lord, you said you will not leave me comfortless. Heavenly Father, Lord God, all my life. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Begin to pray. I feel it and all upon my head. Yes, some of you begin to feel something upon your head. The oil is already dropping. Casalabos. Leta ta 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 ta. Ita ta la ba shada barada ba. Ila kada ba da ba da. Ila kada ba da ba da. Ila kada ba da ba da ba. Ila kada ba da. Lord, let it flow. Lord, let it flow from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Let it flow. I want to swim. I want to swim in this oil. I want to swim in this oil. I want to swim in this oil. I want to swim in the oil. Mara shada ba ya. Ila rada ba ya. Ila rada ba. In a rada by a ha, in a barada by a ha, in a barada by a ha, in a bashada by a ha, and no to go. Put on your head, yes, oh God. Release it, release it, release it, release it, release it. In the name of Jesus, Marada da da, Marada da 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 da da, Jesus, 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 thank you for the oil, thank you for the oil, thank you for the oil, hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you for the oil.